Revelation 3455 From the 3rd of March 1945 Responsibility for Own Thinking Truth There are countless people on earth who stand outside the truth, partly through no fault of their own and partly through their own fault. Many have been offered error and accepted it as truth without taking a mental stand on it, which the human being is obliged to do by God, for God gave him intellect and thus he can think and decide for or against what he is commanded. Yet many people act in the good faith that they are exempt from this test, and therefore God meets them halfway and offers them the pure truth so that they should become suspicious and seriously weigh up what they have received against what is newly offered. Every person must answer for his actions as well as for his thinking, and consequently his thought material must also have been brought to development within himself. Everything that is imparted to him must first have become his thought material through his own reflection on it. If he has neglected to do this, that is if he has accepted unexamined what was offered to him by teachers, then he himself has remained inactive, and he must also answer for this, that he has left unused opportunities through which he could mature mentally. But in order to be able to weigh up what corresponds to the truth, in order to arrive at inner conviction, he must first also have the desire to stand in the truth, and if he has this, then he also critically examines everything that is imparted to him. If he desires the truth, then he also desires God, who is the eternal truth himself. And if he desires God, then he is also in love, because God is love himself. Thus, the desire for truth absolutely has to fill the person who strives upwards. And he will also be able to distinguish error from truth, for his thinking will not remain inactive. The sincere God desiring person deals with all problems in his thoughts which affect him, and his thoughts will be guided towards truth by knowing forces in divine will. But anyone who does not think about the thoughts conveyed to him by human beings is also not seriously striving to come close to God. He is only connected to him in word but not in spirit. For God himself seizes people who earnestly seek him and he truly guides them right. The error causes people great spiritual hardship, it puts them in grave danger of missing the right path to God. Error is spread under the cover of truth, and it is irresponsible of those who seek to spread error as truth of faith and want to prevent people from thinking for themselves through decrees and commandments. The greatest guilt falls on those. Yet every individual human being will also have to answer for himself, because he has been given the gift of understanding by God, which he can and should use, as well as knowledge which is not only meant for earth but for eternity. Every human being is cared for by spiritual beings which stand in the light, that is in knowledge, and their endeavor is constantly to stimulate the human being to think about spiritual questions so that they can mentally instruct him. No person is left out by the beings of light, and thus thoughts will arise in every person, doubts, questions or reflections about the knowledge which was offered to him as truth. And it is now up to the human beings will whether he takes up these thoughts, whether he processes them within himself or immediately rejects or eliminates them, thus depriving the beings of light of every opportunity to instruct him, to enlighten him about error and truth. But as long as the human being believes himself to be bound by decrees and commandments, the path to God himself still remains for him, asking him for right thinking, for right faith and pure truth and God will never let such a prayer go unheard. Yet it is difficult to help those who do not believe they need God, who value human commandments more highly and do not take refuge in the source of truth, which he, as a true child of the Father, can and should do at any time without hesitation. God, however, does not leave his creatures in adversity, even if they have created it themselves or caused it themselves. And where the human being's thinking fails of his own free will, 
he influences people such that they are forced to think. He lets earthly adversity come upon them which raises doubts in them in order to cause them to think. And then he sends his messengers to meet them, the bearers of truth in the beyond and on earth, who now convey the pure truth to them mentally or through human mouth. And now people's mental activity will begin as soon as they desire the truth, and they will be able to separate truth from error they will become knowledgeable as soon as they do not resist the divine gift of love, as soon as they open themselves to it and let it take effect on them. And there will be light in them, for where the truth is, there all darkness disappears. Amen.